Hey, it's Philip Seagraves. Uh, doing a little real estate math, one of the most common questions and sources of confusion with students is usually discount rates. And why, if the interest rate or discount rate is higher, is something worth less to me? Because the common thought would be that if interest rates are higher, I'm going to earn more on my money, then it's going to be worth more to me. Well, in this situation, when we're taking a look at a, an investment that we're going to get sometime down the road, and we need to figure out what it's worth today, it's actually kind of the opposite. So, but let's take a look at, at maybe a, a way of understanding this that would make a little bit more sense. Normally, and we'll look now here at the spreadsheet, normally if we take an investment of, let's say, $25,000 in the first year, or just say at year zero, kind of today, and then we extend that out into the future, into let's say we'll extend that out to five years and let's suppose that our interest rate is 10 percent we're going to have different values of what this is going to be where it's going to compound and grow to different values uh, each year so the first year it's going to be worth the value times one plus our interest rate So it's going to be worth, oops, it needs to be, excuse me, 1 plus our interest rate, not times our interest rate. So it's going to be $2,750 is what it's going to be worth at the end of that first year. Well, what's it going to be worth at the end of the second year? Well, what I can do is go ahead and I'm going to fix this using the F4 function in Excel so that it doesn't move when I drag it. And I'm just going to now drag this formula across. And we can see that each time I start with this value and compound it for one more year, and then I start with this value and compound it one more year, by the end of the fifth year, my $25,000 has grown to $40,000, 262.75. And that's kind of what you would normally expect. Well, interest rate is higher it is worth more to me down the road. But let's think about it the other way. What if somebody told you they were going to give you $50,000 in five years from today? Well, what would you pay for that today? What would you give them today? If they told you that they were going to give you that $50,000 five years from today, what is that $50,000 worth to you in the fourth year? What's it worth to you in the third year? And you can imagine that Getting $50,000 five years from now is not going to be worth as much to you as you got $50,000 today. And the higher that rate of interest or higher that rate of, of that discount rate or what you expect to earn on your money, the less it's going to be worth. Let's take a look at how that would work. So I'm just going to copy what we have in this area, put it down here, and then we're going to kind of work it in reverse. So the first thing that we're going to do is we'll start out here with our $50,000. And in this one, instead of looking at, we're going to move our percentage, our discount rate down here. And also, instead of looking at the value from year three, we're going to look at the other way around. We're going to take a look at the year from, from uh, year five. Now, we can't do that exactly because look what happens. It's worth more. We have to kind of do the opposite. So instead of dividing by, instead of multiplying by, we're going to divide by the discount rate. So if I'm in the fourth beginning of the, the end of the fourth year and somebody says at the end of the fifth year I'm going to give you $50,000, well that's only going to be worth $45,000 to me today because if I took my $45,000, $454, and put it in the bank earning 10%, I would get $50,000 at the end of the fifth year anyway. So that $50,000 somebody's going to give me a year later, that's what it's worth to me today. Well, Let's take that same $50,000 and just keep working our way backwards. So what we find out now is that $45,000 is worth $41,000 to me in the third year. It's worth $37,000 in the second year. It's worth $34,000 in the first year. And it's worth $31,000 in the at the very beginning. And so if I were to put $31,046.07 in 
and invest that at year zero, what do you think it would be worth in year five? Well, let's see. Let's put 31,046 and seven cents. Ah, oh, voila. That 31,000 rose to $50,000. So if somebody tells me they're gonna give me $50,000 in the fifth year, it's worth that $31,000 to me today. Well, let's see what how much that $50,000 is worth to me today if I increase the discount rate. Let's raise that up to 12. Well, now we can see that $50,000 is only worth $28,000 to me today. Let's say 20%. That $50,000 is now only worth $20,000 to me. Because again, think about it. If I took $20,000 and invested it at 20%, after five years, I would have the $50,000. And if I had only invested it at 5%, whoops, let's change it down here to 5%, it would be worth 39,000 because I would have to have $39,000 invested in the first year to get up to $50,000 in the fifth year. Now in a real estate context, this relates to risk. So the riskier you think a project is, the higher you're going to set that discount rate because you're looking out five years from now thinking, well, it's pretty risky. I'm really not sure if I'm going to get that $50,000, so I don't want to invest as much today to try to get that $50,000 as I would invest uh, on something that was really safe and secure. So something that was really safe and secure, you might invest at 5% and expect, well, if I earn 5% on my money, I'll feel pretty good because it's not that risky. But if somebody tells you it's a really risky project that you invest your money and if a um, new sports team moves to town and if the economy does better and if all the houses in the market sell and if and if and if and all these things that you're really not that confident in, you might want to jack up your discount rate. Let's make it all the way up to 30%. So the most you would invest in this project that somebody tells you will get you $50,000 down the road would be 13466 so hopefully that helps you to kind of understand, understand and see that interest rate and discount are really kind of two ways of looking at the same uh, question. It's just whether you're looking at it from the future looking back to what something's worth today or what something that you invest today will grow to in the future. Really two sides of the same coin. All right, hopefully that helped everybody.